What a day, what a day. My dad's laughing at me right now. I said, I told you so. Yeah. Good morning, your eminence, Mayor de Blasio, Commissioner O'Neill, the NYPD executive staff, elected officials, distinguished guests, and many family and friends who are inside and outside the cathedral. My mother, my mother and I want to have a special shout out to David Letterman, who's been by my dad's side since day one, and he's always kept my dad going. David, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for showing tribute to my beautiful and amazing father. I never thought this day would come. To me, as to many of you, my father was the real Superman. Since the day he was viciously shot, my father faced an endless amount of hardship that most of us here will never be able to imagine. However, my father got up every day, kept the faith in Jesus Christ, and conquered his life, despite being in a wheelchair dependent on a ventilator. There are many ups and downs, lots of tears shed, but more hugs shared. He was the greatest man that I could ask to be my father. From always being on the sideline, rooting for me during my Chaminade sports days, making a weekly visit to Boston College just to have lunch at Applebee's, and calling me every day at 5 a.m., every day, to say good morning while I was patrolling the streets of this great city. My father was always committed to me. He did more than most able-bodied able fathers could ever do with their sons. Our most cherished times were when we used to watch our beloved New York Rangers in the Zamboni area and Madison Square Garden. Such magnificent times. My dad loved life. He lived it to the fullest with the amazing care of his nurses, doctors, physical therapists, and the police officers who drove him every day. My dad wanted to make sure his time on earth was not wasted. That is why he was so passionate in spreading God's message of love, compassion, and forgiveness. When many of us would have let anger destroy our hearts, my father forgave the young man who shot him every single day. He made it his mission to have all of us realize that love must win. My father is so proud to be a veteran of the Navy where he was a corpsman to the Marines. Even more, his dr dream came true when he joined the greatest job in the greatest city in July of 1984. My dad loved the NYPD until the end. He loved the shield, he loved the uniform, he loved his bosses, he loved the men and women who wake up every day to protect this city. It was an honor and privilege for him. When God made my dad as a cop, he broke the mold. He's a legend who will never have a comparison. Ultimately, my dad's heart belonged to his beautiful and most loyal bride, my mother, Patty Ann. Their marriage was true love. My dad would always tell me that during the incident in Central Park, his thoughts were all about Ma. He knew he had to fight to see her again, and fight he did. My parents created the most phenomenal life out of such darkness. It was due to their unmatched, unconditional devotion and love for each other, which I witnessed since the beginning of my life. What a lucky son. My mother and I would like to thank each and every one of you for your love and support. My dad always said that there's more love in New York City than there are street corners. Thank you to North Shore Hospital for taking such good care of my father until he passed on. 
Thank you to the village of Malvern, especially the police department, a village my dad loves so much. Thank you, and I can't reiterate how much, I, I can't thank these men so much. Thank you members of DEA and the PBA who are with us keeping constant vigil at my dad's bedside hospital for four days and nights. Thank you so much. Patty Donahue, Brian McGuire, Brian Hunt, I love you guys. Now my dad will lead us in prayer for one more time. The peace prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. The Divine Master, grant that I may not so to seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, and to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are born, uh, pardoned, and it is dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. God bless America, our city of New York, and our saint, my dad, the legend, Detective Steve McDonald. Thank you.